to take your net and go waste somebody else's time. inclination was to love this game. I mean, it's a 2D platformer, which is just about my favorite kind of video game. Not only that, it's a 2D console game. From a time when console games were basically required by law to be 3D, which is just about my favorite kind of balls. This game has balls. And not only that, it's a cartoon, which is just about my favorite thing, period. I mean, it's, it's freaking SpongeBob SquarePants. So my first inclination is to love this game. Oh, this is gonna be great and magical. And it almost is. It's SpongeBob SquarePants! Super Sponge! game is that close to being the best Spongebob game ever. And I know, I know, I'm supposed to say that's Battle for Bikini Bottom. Well, it is. This one could have been even better. Seriously, it's, it's that close. I mean, it looks awesome. It's full of character. It's like this combination of 2D gameplay with kind of pseudo 3D graphics. I mean, it's just, it's, it's that close. And you pick up your controller and you feel like, ugh, you're that close to strangling yourself with it. Like all the excitement that was welling up inside you. Yeah, the game just, it squeezes it all out of you. Like your sponge. Which is actually kind of fitting in a sad, ironic kind of way. Patrick's pretty bummed about it too. That is my birthday! Has everybody forgotten? So here's the deal, uh, you play Spongebob, it's a 2D platformer, Tom Kenny takes pretty much all the voice acting work, that's all you really need to know. The idea is, Spongebob wants to get autographs for Patrick, but Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy won't do it, unless Spongebob does some crap first. Specifically, gets some crap first. It's basically Fetch Quest Squarepants. Spongebob Fetch Pants. And not like, oh, those pants are so fetch. No, because fetch isn't going to happen. What does happen is you get very excited about this, and why wouldn't you? I mean, look, it is a 2D platformer. And not only that, it's a 2D console platformer from a time when... I kind of feel like we've already been through this already. But anyway, let's start with what the game does right, the presentation. This is just a very... Very good looking PlayStation game, you guys. And I mean, I always talk a lot about how games from this era haven't aged well, how early polygons look way worse than early sprites and tend to look even worse as time goes on. But you cannot say that for Super Sponge. I mean, this, which by the way is a really funny funny word. I mean, all yes, is all the text blurry and pixelated? Yes, it is. It looks like crap. Is the resolution kind of crappy? If, well, of course it is. It was 2001. All the resolutions were crappy in 2001. But holy crap, this is still an awesome looking PlayStation game. I mean, the SpongeBob character in particular just really looks great. And again, this is cool mixture of 2D and 3D. So like, when he's teetering on the edge of a platform or he's bending over to look down, like, he doesn't look flat at all. It looks like he has some dimension. And the same goes for the levels themselves. You know, you get these great backgrounds that actually kind of look like paintings from the show, like background paintings. But there's also subtle layers of parallax, but you're also platforming on 3D polygonal ground. And the effect of all that combined is just, it looks really awesome. In fact, it's kind of a precursor to today's 2.5D platform. <laughs> Presentation's awesome, it looks good, sounds great, has lots of voices from the show. Holy crap, you think this is gonna be not only sponge worthy, but super sponge worthy. Then you try to play it. Emphasis on try, too, because it doesn't go nearly as well as you would have hoped. And I guess it's two things, really. Uh, the first being, it just flat out doesn't play well. You guys, you slide around like crazy. It's hard to jump on anything with any precision. Of course, also doesn't help that the level design is pretty much the worst, kind of sucks. And the hit detection's a bit off. Oh, and also, almost everything you're jumping on is like about half the size of your character. So that's, that's real good. Why don't you lay off the Krabby Patties, SpongeBob. But you know, more than even the bad controls, which, trust me, are just about the effing worst, it's, it's how the game loves to make life hard on you. Like, for starters, it just copies Sonic. It does the Sonic thing, where you lose all your items if you get hit, and then if you get hit with no items, you just die. Yeah, that sounds great. Problem is, you're gonna lose items everywhere because of the controls. 
and then uh, th and that sucks and then there's your attacks you have the, you have to have some kind of weapon to attack right like the net is the main one so you have to catch jellyfish with the net and then you can throw them at your enemies boy that sounds fun problem is you can only hold five jellyfish at a time so what that means is you run out of jellyfish every five seconds forget five jellyfish five seconds is the real number which means all you do is you end up wandering around aimlessly hoping to find jellyfish oh i hope there's a jellyfish here and why so what's the point of all that you know other than just just making life crappier than it really needs to be why can't i just have all the jellyfish already in the magic net it's a goddamn cartoon why make life crappy spongebob 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 my first inclination was to love this game. And even now, I want to love this game. But I, but I love myself even more. And I refuse to love something that just wants to make my life crappy. This is a decent licensed game. It absolutely is. But it was almost something more. It, it was almost the greatest freaking SpongeBob game ever. Or at least one of them. Because who, you know, who really knows? Which in a way, Actually, if you think about it, that kind of makes it one of the most disappointing freaking Spongebob games ever. Thanks to our good pal Jason from Green Bay, Wisconsin for sending us Spongebob Squarepants. Super Sponge. Which, in retrospect, seems like a bit of an exaggeration. For the original PlayStation. Don't worry, Patrick. I know how you feel. Nobody loves me anymore. Where is everybody? SpongeBob! Ah, let's try again!